Hey everyone, uh, this is Dr. Josh Fox here, and uh, what you'll be seeing today is sort of the process of how I um, sort of sketch up a drawing. Uh, this will be sort of part one of an idea I had of a series of videos where I sort of do different parts of um, sort of how I do a digital drawing. Um, you know, I just figured, you know, you need to do like a speed paint or whatever, um, you spend, it, it goes by so fast, it's mostly just to get a general idea of it. Here I kind of wanted to go a bit more in depth, so it's only a little bit fast forwarded, and um, you know, you can kind of get an idea of how I draw and how I use the program. If you're curious about the program, it's a Clip Studio Paint. Also, just as a side note, if you're curious about the song, this is New Jabez, a Rorian dance, I, I think it's a Rorian dance, so a credit to New Jabez. If you watch anything anime on uh, YouTube, any kind of like anime analyst or whatever, you probably heard the song, or any kind of like analyst in general, just because it's very chill and relax, and while we're on chill and relax, that's kind of the um, style I want to go for with these videos, it's just kind of like chill and relax, because truth be told, I'm talking completely unscripted, I don't really have much of a topic, um, so this is just kind of um, rambling. But it's also so you can get an idea of how I draw sometimes, like this is a, the most orthodox sort of thing that I draw when I'm trying to do like a big complex piece. Um, I don't normally, uh, you know, um, have like a pencil sketch and then I like, normally I'll use the pencil sketch as, um, as the base that I um, sort of paint over, line over, color over, you know, clip studio paint or sigh or whatever I feel like using. Um, yeah, so, um, something you'll be seeing me doing a lot of, though, is, is, like, adjusting the canvas and whatnot because of, uh, I want to get the framing right, and, um, even by the end of this, I'm not sure I have the framing sort of 100%, but that's, that's what this is, you know, you're watching sort of the process of me making this, errors and stupid decisions I make and all, because, um, I, I will be the first to admit I'm not the most efficient worker when it comes to digital art, but, you know, we learn, you know, we, we learn, and we just, you know, sort of have been going through school sort of properly this time around, and I've learned so much, and I've developed so much, but I still have a lot to learn, and a lot to learn about, because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, obviously, like, I'm, I'm still a novice in a way, and that's kind of another thing that these videos are for. It's kind of like me to helping me to kind of track my progress, so I can be like, oh, well, um, shit, I, I used to draw like that. I, I can't believe it. You know, um, I, I, maybe, maybe in the future I'll actually like remember. You know, key, keyboard commands are your friend, not just the hotkeys on your uh, tablet. So, um. Yeah, this is sort of going to be like a record of that in a way. It's also kind of just be like a way for possibly for me to get sort of things off my chest. I want this to be kind of like a personal experience, you know, um, that's that's like compared to like say the speed paints where, or, or uh, whatever I call them. <laughs> you see, this is what happens when you don't write a script. Um, not speed paints, but kind of like the, the, the process things I do where it's like really fast forward and you just kind of hear music over and, and you know, you don't really get... I guess kind of an idea of the fact that this can take a while, so, um, you know, this is only a little bit fast forward, this whole process, um, not counting breaks, I think it took about 21 minutes, I've only fast forwarded a bit, so it's about, uh, not counting the end card that I sort of have in here, I think it's only about 15 minutes give or take, um, it gets cold in here, <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, just figured I'd do one of these every now and again, um, and sort of have it focused on this piece, and then I might do another piece, and things like that. That, that. That's assuming this sort of continues to be like a. I feel like this is a good idea because, you know, I'm just kind of in the early days of this whole art YouTube thing, so for all I know, things might, you know, kind of change. You never know, right? Um, as sort of we're on this, sorry if there's like any audio popping or anything, but, you know, whatever. I don't have like a. I don't have like. Um, way to like soundproof i'm literally like recording by my computer using a blue microphone hopefully uh, in the future you know if things go right i can get better recording material but um for now this is uh this is what you got um so you might notice me fiddling around a lot with like lines and whatnot and uh, this weird kind of almost great thing you might have seen me doing that um clip studio paint is this really nifty perspective tool it's um 
it's annoying to you sometimes. It's it's something you gotta dick around with a lot. Um, but you know, when you get it right, you can get it right. You can make a piece look really nice. You can, it helps me a lot with backgrounds because of, uh, I'm not too great with backgrounds. And uh, just just FYI, you're gonna see the, the background in this piece is gonna be very blocky. That's because I'm gonna as I'm gonna be drawing it out more. Is going to be more fleshed out what you're seeing is totally just like the basic kind of like sketch to give me like an idea of like i'm trying to run it out a bit here but it, it doesn't look that great I, um my sketches are always very kind of like rough and especially a lot of the time with um artificial backgrounds so like chairs walls buildings that sort of thing a lot of the time they look very square it <clears throat> excuse me it isn't until um i get into like line working or painting or whatever that things get a little bit more th get, get things get more three-dimensional have a bit more life to them i don't so much have that problem with natural backgrounds um maybe that's just because i really like drawing trees and stuff but i don't know i just i really like natural backgrounds if i'm completely honest i'm not a huge fan of drawing backgrounds i'm not particularly like like i like layouts i'm just no good at it <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm better at it than i used to be but it's definitely something that I need to work on. Um, and I know what you're thinking, but then using the Precision Tools and Clip Studio Paint probably aren't helping me that much. But the thing is, I understand the fundamentals. It's getting it to look good is sort of the tricky part. So, um, you know, uh, I, I don't exactly have a good way to use a ruler on my tablet. I'm not exactly using a Cintiq. And trying to use it on my small, like, intuos, it just, it just isn't happening, I'm sorry. So, for now, even though some may call it cheating, I'm going to be keep using this as necessary because it makes my life slightly less hellish. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just a really lucky tool, but it can be finicky as hell because, um, I actually attempted to do this previously, but, um, it wouldn't work right. Sometimes it just... Um, either the perspective seemed off, and that's probably my fault. I can't scare the teeth, that's my fault. But then sometimes, even if I had the ruler set up and everything was go, they weren't turned off or anything, they're still visible, like the layer was still visible, um, it would, it wouldn't work, it just wouldn't work. It, my lines would still be loosey-goosey and nothing would make sense, and I would just get frustrated and just, ugh, I don't know. Oh, wait, here you see, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to uh, take the original drawing and see if I can sort of use it as a base for the character that I'm about to sketch up, but uh, no dice, that isn't happening. Um, it just kind of looked weird, and so I just decided to say, like, screw it, I'll just start from scratch, use that as reference. Um, so uh, this character here, his name is, uh, I think his name is Benji. You know you have too many OCs when you can't remember the names, right? Um, Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna have it up. I've only ever drawn this character like once, but I want to draw more of him because I really, really like his design. Uh, yeah, his name is Benji. He's a rabbit, though. Uh, admittedly, in the sketches, um, I mean, he's a fluffier bunny, but admittedly, in the sketches, I kind of made him look like a dog. So, what you might see next part is I'm probably gonna like try and clean him up and make him look less. Uh, Awful. Though, uh, I don't know, maybe next part will be um, based more background. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to put too much forethought and planning into this yet. I just sort of want to see where it goes. Because, I don't know, I guess that's just... I'm, I'm just experimenting, you know, I'm just, just kind of experimenting. Um, so yeah, now you can kind of get an idea of how I can, my character is. I made his head a little bit too big there, I think, or I'm moving it. Uh, I think it's a bit of a... No, I was just moving it. Um, but you can kind of get an idea of how I draw my characters. Admittedly, uh, this depends on the picture, it depends on the pose, it depends on a lot of things actually. But normally this is kind of the idea, is I'll draw like the, the head, uh, line of action of some sort, which will work kind of at like this point. Um, then I'll draw like a rib cage, and then I'll just sort of like work from there. Um, side note to beginning artists, um, if you d like who are looking to improve, do this, it will help your um, anatomy imposing significantly. Like, I, I don't have the best anatomy in the world, but you should have seen some of my old high school art. Like, whoo wee And this bad stuff. But this, um, this, and just studying life drawing can help your characters look a lot more organic and just a lot less stiff. It can add a lot more life to your um, poses. Uh, so just, just keep in mind, do that, and um, it should be good to go uh, for that, but it's obviously good. It's, it's, it's gonna take practice. Um, even I'm not kind of 100% sure like, if 
this is how I'm gonna keep doing it. It might sort of take a different route because of ways to kind of build from basic shapes. Um, and I, I know some people don't even just do that. They just you know like the line skeleton and then they start developing the, the shapes as it were. But um, I think that will, I think that kind of requires a really kind of strong command of shape language. Which uh, can be difficult to do. It's honestly, it's honestly harder to do than you think. A lot of people just say, "Oh, well, you know, circle equals friendly, square equals strong, triangle equals like menacing or whatever." But it's not because of um, it's it's not that simple. I mean, that that's the very basic way of looking at it. But the, you know, in in more complex character designs, you're gonna get a lot of different types of shapes. So you need to remember what goes where, what do we emphasize more than the rest of that. Um, Benji here, he's a mostly pretty friendly character. But he's also um, he's also an adventurer, so um, you know uh, he has rounded kind of he has kind of like a rounded face. Um, he's got like the round ears, um, but you know he is still an adventurer. He's still um, a bit of a man of action. So his um, his eyes uh, his eyes um, at least in this picture are a little bit are a little bit more triangular uh, just because he's a little bit more pensive. But, um, you know, he's got, like, triangles on him and whatnot, and his hair is very kind of sharp-looking. I may mean, I mean, fix that later, but it is very sharp-looking because, you know, even though he's kind of friendly and cute, he is still an adventurer. He's still going to be a bit tough. Um, here I'm drawing, uh, the subject of this picture is, a uh, Benji is, um, is, Benji is a cyborg. So, um, he's kind of got, like, this, uh, robot arm. Uh, thing going on. So I'm kind of drawing the robot arm here. What I end up doing, um, because I was trying to actually <laughs> measure it on the screen, um, what I end up doing, you see me kind of like dicking around for a bit, I just end up taking the arm and sizing it to this one. Admittedly, this is a shortcut, but something you'll find a, a huge advantage to digital art is uh, shortcuts like this. Um, it is still good to kind of like remember to, remember to properly measure out things and whatnot. It is important to have those skills, but sometimes like when you're doing digital art, honestly, this is a bit, just a bit more of a time sink, and it can help things look a little bit better. I think I'm probably going to go back and I'm going to realize maybe that there's some mistakes and I need to fix and whatnot, but you know, again, this is just kind of the basic sketch. And then we can make it look better from there. Uh, you know, make, make things look a little bit more accurate and a little bit less, I guess, sterile um, from there. Um, shit. <laughs> uh, pardon the language. Um, so... I think I think I start to notice that it looks a little bit too much like a dog, so um, I sort of go over this in another kind of line work layer, or rather like another sketch layer where I try and flesh him out a little bit more. I'm probably gonna do one more. Um, normally I'll do like two kind of like sketch layers for the base, and then I'll do clothes and that sort of thing, and then I'll line it. But I might do another one, make this look a little bit better. Um, you know, kind of make them look a little bit more on model because uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about them being on model. Uh, then again, I, again, I've only really drawn it once or twice, so it's not really a huge deal. Um, so I guess we could talk a bit about um, Benji again because, like I said, he's a he's he's, he's, well, he's he's a cyborg, but really the the main thing is just he's got a robot arm. He doesn't really have any other robot parts. But um, I kind of wanted to uh, take some inspiration from uh like ruby um with yang or something that effect where uh he's a little bit kind of uncomfortable with the robot arm um at least he was uh early on so maybe there's a picture earlier on in his life where he first had the robot arm he's kind of still adjusting to it you know that was just kind of the idea um when i do a more complex picture like this normally i like to have a story attached to it so I'll just come up with a dumb or silly little, or even just basic kind of story in my head. Um, something you'll notice that I, um, I, you might have noticed that I did was I, um, I sketched, I, despite him not having that arm, I did sketch it there. Um, I think um, what, I, what I wanted to do, and um, I think my logic was, you know, it might help me to kind of find the quote-unquote nub where you kind of use the plug in that arm, but um, I, I'm not sure how much that's going to help in the long run. Um, so probably, obviously, I'm just going to erase it later and just get over it kind of like properly. And I'm adjusting the canvas one more time with that framing to be right. And that's a 
Well, okay, I'm adjusting the canvas again. Um, so I can have better framing. Um, I'm kind of removing... I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I think I'm just, I think I'm just sort of wrapping this up. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. I, I got rid of that. There's the picture. Um, you can see me dicking around in menus a bit. Um, then there you go. That's the uh, sort of not finished sketch, just kind of a rough one. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you tune in next time I do one of these. Uh, and if you want to see the art, you can follow me and all this stuff here. Uh, all right, uh, gotta go. Love you. Bye. <laughs>